Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertix. Today in this video, we are going to learn about most underrated vulnerability where most of the bug bounty hunters never tries to learn and exploit it because it is expected that it is hard to understand. But no worries, today we will learn about XXE vulnerability where we will also cover the most critical CVE that is Magneto XXE. CV 2020-34102. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's just understand about what do we mean by XXE vulnerability. But before that, let's just understand what do we mean by XML. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is a markup language same like HTML but it is designed to store and transport our data. You can see in the example, the format just looks like HTML tags. But if you see, there is a node tag, to tag and from tags, which are not similar like our HTML basic tag that is h1, h2, s3 heading tags and all. But it is a user defined tag. So that's how we use an XML to store and transport our data. So in the note uh, particular tag in that we are using few tags to Chirag from Cybertix heading a notice uh, in the body. It's a return a content that is a please subscribe to our YouTube channel and a note tag close. But whatever the structure is being defined in the XML is same like an HTML. So for the structure related stuff, we have to understand about the DTD. Now what is DTD? DTD stands for document type definition. A DTD defines the structure and a legal element and attributes of an XML document. So it's a normally structure of an XML, like how we are going to parse our document or some data to another systems or the server. So example, a document type that is doc type. It's a note where the element is note, it which contains to, from, heading and body. So in that element two, we are getting some kind of data. Similarly, for each and every tag, we are defining a particular structure. So that's what a DTD is about. Now, what are XML external entity? XXE. XML external entity are a type of custom entity whose definition is located outside of the DTD. That is the outside of the structure we are calling some of the data where they are already declared in that particular structure. Now the declarations of the external entity uses the system keyword and must specify a URL where which we are calling it from the external system, which the value of the entity should be loaded. You can see the example, a doc type who entity is ex that is external and the system is the keyword which we had used. And we are calling an external entity cybertix.in that is our website. So what type of XXE attack can we happen? There are many XXE vulnerabilities performed over here, exploiting XXE to retrieve files. That is some kind of etc slash password files and XXE to perform SSRF attack too. So what if we directly call our uh, collaborator URL? or some attacker hosted domains. We can directly send a uh, user data to attacker hosted domains. Exploiting blind XXE, exfiltrating out of bond. So it means that uh, whatever the uh, attacker hosted domains we have situ situated in the another side, which is the outside of the network, it, the, this kind of XXE vulnerability will fetch all of the internal data and pass it to the attacker hosted domains by just making some a boolean based attacks same like an sql injection exploiting blind xxe to retrieve data via an error message so error based blind sql injections similarly like xxe vulnerability where what we have to check the behavior of our the error messages which are shown in the server responses now these are the xxe attacks but today we are going to focus about the cve magneto xxe cve but Let's just understand the XXE workflow first, how it is going to work. First of all, hacker identifies applications with weakly configured XML parser and sends data and in an XML request to the web applications. 
Now the web applications will check the data structure that is the DTD in that it will be loaded a hacker server. Now XML process retrieve malicious external entity with a document type defi definition declaration DTD. Now the XML processor validates the DTD and resolve the malicious external entity. Fourth is XML request is parsed that is on the server side and it will get back to the web application that is from target server to web applications. Now web applications will retrieve all the data that is the sensitive data shared with the hacker. So that's how an XXE workflow is there. So there are different test cases to exploit XXE vulnerability. XXE can be performed via an image file upload. We can upload it in an SVG files to perform these kind of vulnerabilities. XXE via a CSV upload that is the Excel sheet and XXE via out of bond out of band interactions. This can be exploited with the help of an SSRF attack. So let's just start with our Magneto XXE that is the CVE 2024-34102. As we know, Magneto is one of the most popular e-commerce solutions in uh, use of the internet. It's estimated that there are over 1,40,000 instances running on the Magneto. It is possible to exfiltrate their internal data that is from the app slash etc slash environment.php file from Magneto, which contains a cryptographic key used to sign JWE tokens used for the authentications of the internal systems. An attacker can craft an ad administrator JWE tokens and abuse Magneto's API and can get an admin user interface installed in the systems. So this is not just about the Magneto but it is also affected for the Adobe's because both of these vulnerabilities are has been combined and performed an XXE vulnerability. So, Affected versions of the Magneto as well as Adobe is same that is 2-2.4.7 uh, Shodan Dork which we are going to use in this practical that is HTTP.HTML Magneto hyphen template and this will, this will be the general post based request which we are going to perform that is a slash rest v1 guest card hyphen 1 estimate shipping methods and in that content type obviously it will be going to an application or a slash json it will not be an xml because we are performing an out of bond interactions over here so oh, the uh, in the post body we are going to uh, give some post request and in that data you can see in the white section we have added our burp collaborator and slash xxe.xml now this xxe.xml will be hosted on our attacker server and in that particular uh, way, we are going to call the etc slash password one, not on the target URLs and all. So that's how it is going to work. So tool which we are going to use is about uncover to get all the uh, malicious affected domains from the showdown, uh, HTTPX to filter out the domains, live websites and bub suit to get a normal bub collaborator client. And a one another tool from the Gokul that is the uh, CV 2024-34102 which will detect whether this particular domain is affected by this Magneto XXE or not and search engine which we are going to use is Shodan. So let's uh, do it in a practical way. Thank you. So let's just understand how we can uh, get a Magneto based uh, website so with the help of Shodan. So we had used a particular dork that is http.html magneto template let's search about it and see how many domains are there which are being affected with the magneto so there are you can see the result of 139 domains are affected and mostly in the uh, united states and canada and india too so we have got the data but uh, most of the time bug bounty hunters don't know how we can grab those data so we will use a tool of uncover so let's just see how it is going to work uncover hyphen h so you can see uh, we have to use the two mandatory inputs that is the hyphen q that is our query and which engine which we are going to use it so let's just open in a new tab uncover hyphen q 
which we are going to use this query let's just copy it and paste and hyphen uh, it's a search engine so hyphen e for shodan so shodan so you can see that how we are getting a uh, proper links whatever the 139 domains are there we had got directly an ip address but these ip address are not being properly resolved so what we can do is we can use a direct httpx so let me just clear it to understand it better clear and httpx and save it in a one particular file that is a shodan shodan.txt till the time the website are being stored in a file we will see a github tool to detect whether it's an uh, magneto xxe affected vulnerability or not so we will use uh, the google tool so we just have to uh, perform this installation process which i have already done so we have to only directly paste the urls or the list of the targets which are there so whether if it is a vulnerable it will directly detect that this is the affected domains which are being vulnerable for this and then we will later on exploit this with this so we will hope it is being stored cool so let's just move to the cve you can see the same tools which we are going to use it so let me just check where the shodan.txt is being here so hyphen l and just drag it down to check you can see this particular websites are being vulnerable for magneto xxe vulnerability so let me just copy it down so in this way we have to perform an automation of this particular vulnerability so let, now it's time for the xxe exploitation so in the advanced let's just proceed with this domain okay this is the domain now we have to perform an xx vulnerability so here is the uh, particular post request which we are going to add it so with the help of bob suit so let's just intercept it and afterwards we will change the post request method so let me just intercept it we'll send it to repeater intercept should be off change request method from get to post you can see so now in the post request let's just add this particular endpoint cool and then we we don't want some another headers too so we need only content type and content length so let me just remove all the stuff and afterwards let's just add this post body get it into the pretty sections burp burp collaborator client make it to the parsing of one copy to clipboard and then just paste it over here and send the request it says that no such entity with the field name field value of the card id but you can see over here we have got an http based connections with this server ip then afterwards we have to perform an xxe vulnerability as we have added over here an xxe.xml1 so after this particular stage we have to exfiltrate and perform a recon process what are the server details are being available in that particular applications so i hope you understand how we can exploit this cve based so i hope you understand what is xxe and the working of it and also about how to export magneto xxe vulnerability with the help of automation if you have any queries feel free to reach out to our telegram community channel make sure you like and subscribe to our youtube channel too it's really motivate me to come up with a more interesting video like this so i wish you all a happy and safe hunting till the time goodbye and jai hind
Thank <laughs> you.